everyone, welcome back to Ryan's Bench. Today I'm going to continue building the Tamiya Nissan Skyline. So I've built a bit on a previous kit, but I messed up a little, some parts got lost. So yeah, then I bought another kit and I'm going to record all my building. Because I built a lot without sharing, sharing with you guys. Shame on me. Oof. So, first step is for the engine. I'm going to go ahead and rip this open. This is Spruce C, by the way. I've got my parts just past the camera. And yeah, now I don't have my pliers with me. Eventually. Here we go got my nail clippers and yeah let me get out my pieces sorry for the awkward camera angle I'm at my house instead of at trailers but apart from that everything's going quite well Wow, I cut two pieces off a sprue. Real good progress. Oh no, that's a dent. Well, I accidentally made a bit of a dent in the part. Not very noticeable. And I don't think I'll even remember that I, that I did that. So, on to assembly. Um, now, this time of the year, when I'm recording this, it's somewhere in March, my dates have been a bit off, sorry, but it's now the Geneva Motor Show. For any of you that don't know, it's an annual motor show in Switzerland, where a lot of car companies show off their new products, a lot of electric cars. Yeah, and anyway, I'm a very big car fan, and I really like doing models. That's what she said. Alright, so I've opened up the instruction manual and did the first step, which is basically just the transmission and the lower part of the engine. It's not a lot of work. I painted mine flat aluminum, which is, yeah, if I'm right, it's the colour you should paint. Now on to step two. This is to finish the rest of the engine. So I'll need part C1. I've put my sprues out of shot, so I'll just quickly look for C. Excuse me for a second. 12 seconds later. Here we go. I've got sprue C here and I must look for C1. There we go. The color itself is alright. It's not too far off from the matte aluminum. I want to make sure I glue it. Yeah, it's already on the right way. So I need to paint this. Um, it says different parts to paint. There's X11, X18, XF22. Lots of different parts. I'll mainly paint it German black. Ah, German grey, sorry. Many months later. Welcome back to my bench. It's me, that awkward guy that did the Nissan Skyline video like six months ago. So I'm going to do a voiceover on the engine and the character, the figure that came with the set. The engine was quite an easy thing to build and paint, only a few pieces really. Just some flat aluminum and German grey and then you're done. The colour I used to airbrush the car and to paint the engine itself is the flat aluminum paint XF16 that's the main body of the engine and the body I haven't built the kit for a while actually because I've been busy with the real thing I've been working on a car not the skyline itself those are way out of budget but a car two 1956 Ford Prefects so I'm going to restore them and hopefully use one as my first car. 
So I'd like to ask, would any of you like to see that type of content? Not on this channel, but on a different channel. I think I should release my own channel, make a channel of my own and post car things. I'd just like to know if some of you people are car fans here as well. Yeah, anyway, back to the engine. So it's two, three pieces. And here's a tip to get the lettering really nice. Take a toothpick, dip it in the paint, and then just do the lettering. That was, for me, the easiest way. You can go into a lot more detail with this, like taking some grease-looking stuff. I don't exactly know what you call it, but you can get it at your local model shop. Just go ask the guy for that grease stuff. I got some of that and put a bit on the engine. Looks very good. Remember how I bought one kit? Some parts got lost. So I bought a new kit. And with the one that has lost parts, I made a wrecked version. And I'm going to put it in a diorama. I'm just about done with the wrecked version. So in the future, it's going to go in a diorama. Most of the things were very easy to paint. When I was painting the body, the paint just splashed a bit, but I managed to buff that out, thankfully. So that was quite a lucky save, because it was quite a big spot that got on the paint. The character was a bit more difficult. Did a few things with shading and stuff. Can't remember exactly what I used. Just your normal character color paints. Then if you want to have an alien, green person, go ahead. Just pick up some green paint. That's just about the end of this voiceover. Yeah.